I have watched my mother completely change over the last seven years. Yay. Alzheimer's truly impacts you mentally, spiritually, physically. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I'm tired already. <laughs> I am an only child and the daughter of Constance Guthrie, who is a single mother. And we have been two peas in a pod for the longest. Constance was born in Virginia and she has always been someone who was gonna have big ideas and follow them. She opened her own salon called Hair by Connie and she owned a brick and mortar salon in Alexandria for 18 years. <laughs> she has always been over the top. She has always been just like flamboyant in terms of her style. She was loud, like you knew CG was in the room. She moved from talking, walking, singing, everything, to now being fully bed bound. You gotta keep the circulation going. Ain't that right? I've been grieving my mom for seven years. Your little chicken legs. Slowly losing her is actually the hardest part of this disease. <laughs> Oh, we had a whole system. I would leave her these notes, and then when she would call me, like overwhelmed, I'd say, Go to the kitchen. Now read the green note. What does the green note say? The green note says you're back in touch. Exactly. What else does it say? It says I'm safe. Exactly. You're okay. You know, like the things that I did to try to keep her calm, I still just think, How do we do that? You realize how heavy this has all been and how how lonely the last six months have been because no one was here when my mom was falling and I had to call the, the fire department to get her up. And this was like multiple times a week. Good job. Can you give me two more? One. Good job. I'll leave you alone. Good job, Constance Guthrie. Good job, good job. Good job, good job. This disease disproportionately sure. impacts African-American community, yet we're not talking about that. Yes. There's a lack of resources, a lack of knowledge, lack of access, and I know for a fact that falls on racial lines. Can you roll? Thank you. I learned that after getting this one, they make electric ones. If I didn't put her on hospice, we'd be back and forth into the hospital. And that is not the place where she would have gotten equitable, thoughtful, comfortable treatment, particularly because of her race. I just think that Bless part of us. my journey would have looked significantly different if I were a middle-aged okay, white person or a okay. white male. You're okay, you're okay. I would have been listened to the first time. I would have been respected in terms of following through on things. This little light of mine, oh, I'm gonna let it shine, oh. The light, take There's times I'm just like sitting next to her and holding her hand, <laughs> and she starts to laugh. Precious Lord. Or she'll say something that just like catches me off guard. Back. Don't count her out. She's still there. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Crying girlfriend. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Did you like that one? Did that sound nice? Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Did you like our sing-along time today? I think so. Mm -hmm. You okay? Mm -hmm.